to my space where I had the landscaping yard. I worked in a landscaping yard, had my own section, making compost, worm farming, and selling compost out of there. And it was a wonderful material. I so wish I had it in my space where I am now. But I wanted to bring this video and revamp it up because I feel that there's a lot in there for you guys to learn about. And you know, we covered it. So you can get to see what 12,000 worms look like. I get two, 6,000 parcels from Permi Pete in worm biz. And um, he talks about uh, what the mature worms look like, how to spot the different species and things like that. So I think that's really valuable. And he also goes over about which ones are more voracious eaters, eaters the babies or the mature ones. And he looks at weights and breeders and things like that. So there's a lot in here. Check it out. Uh, I'm going to put it on now and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And I'll see you towards the end of the video. G'day, my friends. friends. Marty, we're here from Marty's Garden with my good friend. Come here down here, Pete. In the shade, mate. Get out of that hot sun. Hermie hey. Pete. How's he's, it going? He's here. He's dropped off some worms for me for the new farm here. And uh, yeah, if you haven't seen the first video about worm farming expert here, I'm going to leave a link above uh, teaching all about worm farming. But today he's got something special for me. How many worms you got for me, mate? So we've got uh, approximately about 12,000 uh, worms and uh, they're red wigglers, uh, Indian blues, and there's even some uh, African night crawlers getting through the mix now. Sweet, well let's go over and get them out of the car and we'll bring them down to, I've got something set up to put them in there just for now. Absolutely. All right, let's go. Ooh, look at this. Hey man, all these boxes in here, where are they going? Uh, well, I'm already been delivering today to a few of the bunnings up and down the, the north coast mid north coast yeah awesome yeah and uh these are the ones these are the special packages for you oh so let's, there's let's, six how many six thousand in each in each bag wow can you empty them out for me into here and i'm just going to film and we'll give everyone a look at what six thousand worms look like of a different species all right so we can maybe as you can see a, they're, talk about them a bit we're just transport them in these breathable bags and uh, we put some material in there we try and keep it uh, a little bit dry so that the worms are, are happy in transportation so we'll tip some of it out and we'll see they uh, should be all clumped up in the middle there we go what's the uh, bedding material there in Pete so this is a uh, mixture of coconut coir and a little bit of peat moss. Okay. We found that the uh, the two together uh, are the perfect mix. So we obviously put a, a fair bit of material in just to keep the worms happy and, and this is the bedding material that they'll start laying their eggs and stuff in. So there's, uh, they're just all through this material which is uh, you can see that uh, it's there's you know a fair bit of moisture in the middle, and then it's nice and dry on the outside. So what this will require now, Marty, is it'll require just a, a quick little sprinkle of uh, some water from a watering can. Don't go too crazy, but uh, you just want to make sure that the material is is got a, a light saturation. Okay. Excellent. So there's what what varieties have we got in here? I know you so, said before. But... <coughs> Well, here's a here's a clump, and you can see the uh, the the red. There's reds, so there's some breeding ones in there. There's a lot of juveniles as well. How can uh, you tell the difference between a juvenile and a breeding one? Well, if it doesn't have a clitellum, so this one here. What's the clitellum? So Just it's so its, people know. It's its reproductive organ. It's the little the little band that the worm has. Uh, it looks like a little swollen part of it normally it's up in the uh about a third of the head yeah yeah so on the indian blues uh you can see that there there's there's Flat the tail. band there that's right so it's actually an inverted if you if you look closely oh, where wow, it? yeah whereas this one here is uh I learned something every day i didn't know yeah. that i thought well, that's, they were flat yeah well it's actually the the uh the only way you can tell a true indian blue is uh by looking at the the kind of 
the little indentation on where the clitellum is. So Excellent. it's only very slight, but uh, if you look closely, you'll be able to see it. Cool. So it's uh, it's obviously a bit hard to see them when they're still in all that material. Mm. And as you can see, you know, the, uh, you know, we, we thought because we're introducing them into your windrow system, that having a lot of juveniles in there growing up in the material uh, will be the best thing for for your system, Marty, because that way. Uh, the juveniles, they'll find their, their happy place and they're the most voracious eaters out of all of them. Okay. Whereas the big ones, well, they'll probably end up going and, and uh, laying some eggs through the rest of your material. Yep. But obviously the little ones, they're full time eating at the moment. Yeah, awesome. We've got another bag, so maybe we can yes. empty that one out into here. And I've got a this aged mushroom compost, if anyone's wondering what it is. Makes a very good compost bedding, uh, worm bedding, so to speak and mixing it with the permi peat mixture. I think they're gonna be very happy. I'll just wet it down a bit more, like you said. Got some noise from the trucks here in the background, but never mind. Look at that. So yeah, you can see like, uh, wow. you know, there's, there's some bigger worms in there. The African night crawlers probably uh, aren't at the, the full size to actually uh, tell the difference between the worm jet. But as I said, they look know, like reds, don't they? When they do, when that's right, young. mate. Yep, they they look very similar to the reds when they're young. Um, but it won't take them long, especially on your special mix, um, because I, I can tell just looking at the material that those worms are going to love your special blend, mate. Yeah, they're going to fatten up pretty quick. They will. They certainly with all that space you got there for them. So yeah, be very interested to see how this comes along in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I think by the middle of autumn, um, you know, I should have triple the numbers. They should breed up pretty quick. Yeah, oh, absolutely, yeah. Because, you know, that's kind of the whole point of, of having the breeders in there so that uh, you can get the, the start on the egg laying, but then you've got all the uh, smaller worms that once they get to uh, sexual maturity, uh, they're just going to just lay eggs for the next couple of years. Mm. If people are going to buy, like, bulk worms like, like I've done today, just to restock up, what advice would you give them? Uh, well, I mean, in, in terms of, uh, you know, buying bulk worms, uh, I, I think the uh, about the 4,000 worms is kind of really the, the happy point to, to re-get your worm farm going again. Um, but as, as long as you've got the compost, uh, if you've already got, a, you know, a worm farm that just needs redoing, then yeah, a uh, 4,000 or, or a kilo is probably as much as you need but uh, if you want to go on to anything bigger then uh, you'd be looking at you know kind of two to two to five kilos uh, will we'll really get your composting fast yeah and so on average how many in a kilo on average I know it varies but yeah it can vary from 4,000 to 6,000 worms just depending on you know the size of the worm normally it's the breeders that are about uh, 3,000 to 4,000 worms per kilo uh, and then the juveniles, obviously, because they're a lot smaller, uh, they, they'll go from anywhere from 4,000 up to 8,000. Yeah, awesome. Well, thanks for coming out. Well, thanks for coming my out to uh, my here. composting site really here. Really no worries. Really buddy. appreciate it, Pete. Um, and I've got a heap of worms to work with, so we'll keep everyone updated. Hopefully, you'll come back in the near future and absolutely we'll have, have a, look. a look at it. And we'll go through the material and see. How Unreal stuff. Uh, Pete's such a good dude. Uh, it's a pity we're a bit of a distance away now, but he uh, did send me my 10,000 worms uh, in the mail. So we've got a video for that. Uh, there'll be a link uh, somewhere around or in the description, or you can search for it on my channel uh, if you've missed that video. Now, this is a bit of a blast from the past, if you're wondering, sort of my hair's different and everything's going on. And uh, it was really enjoyable uh, re-watching that. And it's, like I said, there's so much value in it. I actually even learned something uh, re-watching that video back over again, a few things uh, that I'd forgot. And uh, Pete, he's very knowledgeable and he provides a great product. So if you're in Australia on the East Coast, uh, consider buying your worms from uh, Wormbiz if you ever need any. Uh, and let me know also if you like this blast from the past down in the comments box down below or uh, in the comments uh, beside us here. Uh, it's been a really fun time uh, getting these uh, quick live shows out to you. And I will be producing more. I want to get one out every day uh, if I can. That's my goal for uh, the next month. But we'll see how things go. Maybe I'll get lucky. I'll get two out. <laughs>
<laughs> have a great day. Happy everything. And uh, we'll see you at the next video real soon.